Yeah, this is basically, I think, a nightmare situation for Facebook. They set up this oversight board, purportedly independent, to basically make the difficult decisions for them. Uh, but what has happened here now is that the board has said, well, you guys were right to suspend Trump at the time in the immediate aftermath of the insurrection, but we're not so sure you were right to suspend him forever and has now given uh, the company six months, so until November, to figure out if Trump should be suspended or not. So what's going to happen next? Well, it's all back on Facebook. It's all back on Zuckerberg and it's going to create a public debate. I'm sure we'll hear from Trump we'll, saying that he should be allowed back on, from Democrats saying he should be, but all the pressure and the decision is now on Zuckerberg. Uh, over the past hour, the Oversight Board held a press call and we uh, heard from one of the co-chairs uh, of this uh, Facebook Oversight Board. Here's what they had to say. The board has made a clear decision. Uh, Facebook initial suspension of President Trump was correct. That's very clear. Uh, but also we're saying that an indefinite ban was not acceptable. Uh, and the reason why that is not acceptable is because Facebook actually failed to follow its own rules on removing harmful content by choosing an indefinite suspension. So with this six month timeline now, what that does really is it puts the spotlight back on Mark Zuckerberg and the really, really powerful role he has over public discourse in this country. Mm -hmm.